What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some competitive VGC double battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl. In today's video, we are going to be showcasing this Life Orb Sword Dance for Alligator team that also features Crobat and Choice Band Scissor. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the support that has been going out on these double battles. I've been having a blast recording them, so it really does go a long way knowing that you guys are enjoying them. But also, if you guys want to leave me a comment down in the comment section down below about what Pokemon you guys would like to see next, I would absolutely love it. So let me know. Hopefully, you guys leave some comments, and I can check it out and make teams based on those comments. But getting started with this team preview over here, we're going to start off with the one and only Feralgator over here. And Feralgator is a beast of a physical attacker. We gave this thing the jolly nature. So can outspeed most and then its evs are fully in attack and speed this thing is just here to hit like a truck and outspeed all the pokemon but one thing that i really like about this pokemon is the ability sheer force it, it learns the ability sheer force which is really really good for physical attackers like him so what it does is it removes additional effects to increase the power of moves when attacking so if we go over to his moves we kind of explain this a little bit we have waterfall and ice punch as our two moves to hit hard so with sheer force, we do not get additional effects. So waterfall cannot flinch and ice punch cannot freeze. But on top of that, since we cannot get those additional effects, we get a damage increase and the damage increase is 1.3 times. So it's a, it's a decent boost. It is a decent boost for that ability. So pair that with stab damage for waterfall and the life orb as our item, we're going to be able to hit like a truck and take out Pokemon left and right. Final two moves on this Pokemon, it's going to be Sword Stance to set up and protect as our final move. So if we get this Pokemon rolling, I'm telling you, we can just sweep battles with him left and right. Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be this Adamant Crobat over here. EVs are fully invested in attack, little bit in HP, little bit in defense, little bit in special defense, and little bit in speed. It's basically like an all-around build with fully attack EV, so this thing can hit like a truck. Inner Focus has its ability, so it can't be flinch or intimidate, which is really, really well. And then we have this amazing move set on it with Tailwind for speed control, Taunt to Taunt opposing support mods, Cross Poison, and Brave Bird for big stab damage. Right next to him, next Pokemon is going to be Arcanine. And we actually use this exact same Arcanine build in our first VGC Brilliant Diamond and Pearls uh, video, and it worked out really well. So I was just like, yo, let me bring this Pokemon on this squad and use them yet again. This thing has a timid nature. And then it's got the uh, Intimidate ability with EVs and HP, Special Defense, and Speed. Moveset is going to be Flamethrower, Snarl, will o -Wisp, and Protect. And this moveset is phenomenal because we can control physical attackers with Burn and Intimidate and special attackers with Snarl. The item that this thing is holding is the Guav Berry, and I forgot to mention that Crobat is holding the Figgy Berry. So both these Pokemon, when they fall below certain HP, they're going to be right back into battle by eating that berry and getting a huge HP boost. Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be Raichu, another Pokemon who is great at controlling battles and controlling speed. This thing has Fake Out, Nuzzle for Paralyze, Volt Switch to Pivot Out, and Brick Break to Break Screens, and it is our little coverage move over here. EVs are going to be Special Attack and Speed, and then the ability is phenomenal for this Pokemon. We gave this thing Lightning Rod so that can protect our Feraligator and our Crobat. Gotta love it, gotta love this Pokemon all around. And then Nature, it says Hardy, we gave this thing a Timid Bit, it is actually Timid. Next Pokemon on the squad is going to be our huge special attacker that is going to be Rotom Mo over here. I'm so tired of using Rotom Wash. Not tired of it, but I just feel like I have to change it up. I used Rotom Wash in like the past three videos, so I was just like, yo, let's put Mo on this team, see how he does. We gave this thing Timid Ability. Well, not Ability, Timid Nature, so we get that little speed boost. And then this thing is fully vested in special attack and speed because, like I said, this is our heavy special attacker. It has the Levitate ability, so ground moves can't hit us. And then we gave this thing Leaf Storm, Thunderbolt, Nasty Pot to set up and protect for its final move. Final Pokemon on the squad is the one and only Scissor. And I shouldn't just say Scissor. I should say Choice Band Scissor. This thing hits like an absolute truck with Choice Band. So cannot wait to bring him in the back end and pick up some big KOs. We got Bullet Punch for Stab and for First Turn Priority. U-Turn for Stab and to pivot out. X Scissor for big stab damage and Night Slash for our coverage moves. EVs are fully invested in attack, mostly in HP. And then we put a tad bit in speed so we can have a little bit of a speed boost. Technician has its ability and then... Uh, uh, nature is going to be adamant to give it that little bit more boost in attack guys if you want to try out this team for yourself the pokey pace will be down in the description below you guys can check it out build it yourself there's no rental codes in this i wish it was because i would make you guys a rental code but without further ado let's hop into some online double battles and look to get some wins with this sword stance life orb for alligator team Hopping into battle number one for today's video, and I was using this for alligator team off screen a little bit, and it's been working really well. I really do like the team synergy on it, and the alligator once it gets set up, can dominate battle. So hopefully we get to do it today. And yo, look, he also brought for alligator, so this one's gonna be fun. One, he also has Cresselia, Raichu, Togekiss, 
Parasect, who is a cool Pokemon, and a hurry is pretty good, and then Heatran for his final Pokemon. Okay, I feel like Arcanine is an absolute must here. Has Intimidate, has Snarl, can kind of control a little bit, and mm, do I lead Raichu with that? I either want to lead Raichu or Crobat with this Arcanine, and then bring Feralgator in the back end, and then I'm thinking having Scissor as our final Pokemon could work really, really well here as well. But, um, hmm, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think how should I play this one. I'm trying to think. I mean, Rotom could be really good here as well. Rotom's not bad at all. I kind of want to bring Rotom. Maybe instead of, like, Scizor or something. I definitely want Froggy. I really just like Froggy all around. He's such a cool Pokemon. Really, really awesome and fun to use. So let's go Arcanine. And I'm thinking Raichu here could be very good, but then he has Lightning Rod. He does have Lightning Rod, so we got to watch out for that. So I might just go Crobat. Hmm. Nah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go Raichu here. Let's go Raichu, Froggator, and then Rotom Mo as our final Pokemon. Right? Sound good? Looking good? It's feeling good. I mean... I'm really trying to think of what we should do here because I don't know if I want this Raichu. I don't know if I want the Raichu at all. I'm not going to bring the Raichu. We are just going to... We have like 10 seconds to pick, so I got to tarry this one up. We're going to go Crobat here. Crobat, Feralgator, and Rotomo for the final Pokemon. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win in our first battle here, but I don't know who he's going to lead. He might lead that Raichu, and that's why I was kind of like scared. He does lead the Raichu and the Feralgator, so I think Feralgator might uh, go into a Swords Dance. But that is good because we are getting off a lovely little, uh, what's it called here? An Intimidate. So he has two options here. He has two options. Either fake out the Arcanine. He either fakes out the Arcanine, which, uh, then we get off a Tailwind. Or he either fakes out the, actually, he can't fake out the Crobat. So we could just go for a Tailwind. That's going to be my play. He could nuzzle the uh, Crobat. He's going to Encore me. It's going to fail because he went first. That was pretty stupid. We're going to set up this Tailwind and try to get off this lovely little burn on this physical attacking Feralgator. And it connects, yo. Mwah, yo, beautiful turn. He tries encore us, thinking that we're faster. So that could have been a really good play for him. But I think he's going to Encore now, so I might just hard swap. That's going to be my play. He's going to Dragon Dance set up. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. He's definitely going to Encore, I think, at this point. But it's not going to work because we outspeed him now. So we might as well just double down to this Feralgator get rid of it, right? I think that's the play. I think just doubling down into Frowlgator or potentially just going into a Snarl. Maybe a Snarl into a Cross Poison could be the play. Or do we just go for a Brave Bird? Brave Bird could be good. I mean, if he Encores me, he Encores me. I'm just going to Snarl and go into a Brave Bird here. Let's Brave Bird it. Get it. Get it, baby. You eat big old damage. Yo, look at that damage with the crit. With the crit, we take some mean recoil, but I think we should be fine all around here. Snarl's gonna pop, and can Snarl take out that Feralgator? It does. It does, yo. What a first turn. What a big old first turn. Not first turn, technically second turn, I'd say, but yo, strong turns there. Strong, strong turns there. He's gonna go for that Volt Switch. That's totally fine. Crowback can soak up. This is exactly why we put some good EVs into this Pokemon. And we have a special attack drop on him, which was huge. So Arcanine's chilling out here on the field. If he throws out a special attacker, he does that. If not, you know, that we can burn. We can burn. So Cresselia is going to come out here, and I just think we just search so We have speed control. We're kind of thriving here. We are kind of thriving here. Let's see what he does from here. Let's see what he does from here. He's going to go back out into the Raichu. Probably fake out onto my, uh... Probably going to fake out onto my, uh... My Arcanine. But at that point, we just go into, like, a Cross Poison or something. Do I go into Cross Poison, or do we go into a Brave Bird again? I mean, actually, I'm going to taunt the Cresselia. The Cresselia might set up a Trick Room. Might try to do something stupid. He's going to go for the fake out. Obviously, fake out the Arcanine. And we're just going to taunt this Cresselia. Just so, in case it's going for like a Trick Room or like a setup move, we can kind of just taunt it and go from there. Arcanine flinches. She cannot Trick Room. Yo, the Reeds baby all day. The Reeds baby all day. We're going to Snarl up. And I think we're just going to a Brave Bird. I think we're just going... Or we can Cross Poison up onto this Raichu. Let's Cross Poison up onto the Raichu. I just think this thing poses a little bit of a bigger threat now that this Cresselia is taunted. So, we're going to Cross Poison. Crobat is ripping. He's out here ripping. And we get the poison. Oh, we get the poison, baby. Snarl's going to fly. Dude, we are pretty much solidifying this battle. Yo, what a first battle. Didn't even need to bring out Feralgator. I mean, I hope he actually takes out my Crobat or something. So we can go into Feralgator because I want my Feralgator out here. I want my Feralgator out here. Nuzzle's going to pop through here. Please take out my Crobat. He paralyzes Arky. And what's he going to do from here? He's going to go for a Psychic. And that's going to go into Arcanine. And Arcanine soaks up all day. It's just a soaking machine here. Leftovers is going to pop. Poison is going to trigger a little bit. And what do I do from here? What does Jeans do from here? I mean, look at that. Yo, Poison is going to pretty much take out the Raichu next turn, so I don't even have to worry about it. Let's say we just Snarl again. 
Our Tailwind Peter's out, so that makes Raichu the fastest. We're just going to Snarl up here, and do I try to set up a Tailwind? We can. I would love to set up a Tailwind. I would love to set up a lovely little Tailwind for this battle. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Strong, strong battle. Strong, strong battle. He Volt Switches. Okay, Crobat's dead. That's fine. We're just going to Snarl, and I'm going to just bring out my Feralgator here. I choose going to go down here, and we'll make a play uh, depending on that. Because, oh no, he actually bolts with out. So he gets one more turn with uh, Raichu. Which could be good, but he has to show his final Pokemon, which is going to be Parasite here. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We have Ice Punch rocking on our uh, Feralgator, who we are going to bring out here. And Cresselia is just going to go for Psychic, which Arcanine eats up all day. Eats up all day. It is Paralyzed, so that's a little tough. And Cresselia dodges that. And is Parasite physical? Parasite might be physical. So in this case, I might just go into... Sword Stance into a will o -Wisp maybe? Or protecting the will o -Wisp? What's the play here? What's the play? Roselia shakes off Taunt. We go on the Rotom, but I really like having Feralgator here. And I might protect just to pose that threat with the Feralgator. And then throw a burn onto the, uh, the Parasect here. Because again, I think Parasect is going to be physical attacking. And if not, we'll start snarling up next turn. But let's just go into this Protect. And then, you know... Drop this little burn onto this poor little bug. Poor little bug. Parasite's gonna also protect. So Trick Room is happening. Dang it, dude. I was I was I was thinking of sword dancing as well. I was totally thinking of sword dancing. Hmm. Let's see the play. Trick Room is gonna pop, and this could be beneficial to us. This could work well for us. I might swap the Fraligator now. I might swap the Fraligator. It's gonna be it's gonna be good battle. It's gonna be good battle. Let's look in our way for a while, but you know the Trick Room is obviously such a big threat. And at this point, we just go into a will o -Wisp on the Parasect. And I'm going to hard swap into my lovely little Rotom. I'm going to hard swap into my Rotom because I want my Feralgator from leaking. I just feel like he could be better off here. I just feel like he could be better off. And I'm really not worried about that Raichu because all three of our Pokemon do have Protect. And say he comes in with that Raichu, we just Protect and Poison will pretty much finish that one off. We're going to swap our Feralgator out here. I really don't want to take him big damage. And we're going to swap into our Rotom. This lovely little Rotom here. He's going to go for a Bolt Seed. Great little Rotom. Great right, little read by me. Rotom's gonna pop out here. And if we can land this will o -Wisp, that's gonna be huge. That's gonna be huge. And look at us. Just soaking up. Just soaking up. What's Cresselia gonna go for? We were hit three times. That's all good. And Arcanine's paralyzed. Of course he's paralyzed. Of course he's paralyzed. Of course he's paralyzed. He's gonna double down into Feralgator slot. Rotom's gonna be able to soak that one up. And we're gonna get moving on here. So I'm just gonna snarl. Where do I go for a flamethrower? Let's go for the flamethrower here. He might protect. Uh... In this case, we're just going to Thunderbolt into Cresselia. Maybe get a Paralyze. He's going to Withdraw the Parasect. That's really cool for us. I'm really digging that turn. Because Raichu dies. Raichu dies with the swap. That's just a Death Wish. Arcanine's Paralyzed again? What you mean, dude? What you mean? Ice Beam's going to fly here. That's fine. We eat. Rotom eats. He soaks up. Do not freeze me. Cool. Okay. Citrus Berry's popping. That's our item of choice on this Pokemon. We got three berries on this team. Loving the berries. Getting the health back. Thunderbolt's going to fly through here. And... The lightning rod. Totally forgot about that. But it's all good. Raichu dies here. Raichu dies, and I can just uh, start snarling, right? Raichu goes down to poison. It's cool. So he kind of just does that and gets off a free turn. We still have Feral getting in the back, and Trick Room should be in rather soon. So if that's the case, I'm really liking it. So we should start tackling onto this Parasect, who I think is going to protect, right? I think it's going to protect. And in this case, we're just going to go into a snarl. Let's get ripping with that. Guys yeah, playing really good swaps, I ain't gonna lie. Let's go Snarl and we protect here. Yeah, I say we protect our Rotom. I say we protect our Rotom. He's gonna start targeting down the Rotom as it's low on HP. It already used its berry. We still have a berry left on Arcanine, and Arcanine's paralyzed, so let's just protect the Rotom. Play this one slow and go from there. We're protecting Rotom. Is he gonna protect the Parasect? That's the real question. He goes for a bolt seed. We straight up just block. We straight up just block. And Arcanine, dude, yo, what is this game? What you mean? What, like, I don't understand. Is Trick Room gone now? Trick Room should be ending very, very soon. Let's Snarl again. And, I mean, we'll just go for a Thunderbolt here, or I could go for a Leaf Storm. I think we might as well go for a Leaf Storm here, because, you know, Rotom is going to go down very, very soon. I might as well go for this Leaf Storm. We'll see he's going to pop. Rotom soaks that up all day. And I think Trick Room ends after this, which could really, really benefit us. Which could really, really benefit us. Yo, this is such a pain. This is such a pain of a battle. Parasite's just chipping away slowly here. We were hit four times. Can we eat up this Ice Beam? Snarl's gonna come out here first. Thank the Lord. Start snarling up on these Pokemon. 
Rop and the special attack, which is just huge. I think both these guys are special attacking. And we'll see what he does from here. We'll see what he does from here. So he's going to go for the Ice Beam, and we might be able to eat that up. I'm actually really hoping. We do. Thank you, special attack drop. Arcanine, you're the best. These storms going to come out here before we die and get off some big damage. So we, we, we love to use it. We love to use it, even though Cresselia is just an absolute bolt. We'll take it all day. We'll take it all day. So in this case, I think the Trick Room ends, right? Trick Room probably ends, yeah. Trick Room ends here. And what do we do from here? Do we burn? Do we try to throw burns on Pokemon? Because burn could be really good. Or we could just start snarling. Yeah, yeah we're just going to keep snarling and go for a Thunderbolt here. Look for a Paralyze. Let's see what he does. He's going to protect the Parasite. Kind of saw that coming. And he's setting up yet another Trick Room. Yet another Trick Room. The Thunderbolt's going to pop. Hey, give me a Paralyze. Give me a Paralyze, yo. Give it to me. We need one. Dang it, yo. Snarl's popping, so special attack is at an all-time low. It's at an all-time low. All-time low. That is lovely. Uh, this case, we protect the Rotom, right? No, we'll, I'll play this one slow all day. This is a great battle. This is a great battle. I love it. Still have our Gator of Pharrell's in the back. And I really want to put a burn on this Parasect, so I think we're going to do it now. Or I could just start tackling it up with a... Uh, with a what's called? With a Flamethrower. Let's go for a Flamethrower here. Let's flamethrower. Let's protect the Rotom. Protecting Rotom. I mean, I definitely could have set up a Nancy Pot that turn, but... Or a couple turns before that. But, it's all good. Protect's gonna come out from Rotom. I th one of his Pokemon are gonna try to take him out, right? Let's see what he does. He goes for Bullseed. We blocked that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And Flamethrower come out here. Flamethrower connects. And this thing is rocking the Oka Berry. The Oka Berry. Can we still get a Burn? A burn would be lovely. Or just do that. Give me a Burn now. Give me a Burn now. Come on, baby. No burn and Psyche's gonna... Oh, he doubles down. He doubles down into Rotom. He doubles down into Rotom. We are sitting in a great spot here. We are sitting in a great spot here. So he might protect Parasect. And in this case, I just Snarl, right? In this case, I Snarl and we'll go for a uh, Thunderbolt. A Cresselia. I still think he protects the Parasect. It kind of just goes from there. But I'm not really worried about Parasect. Not really worried about Parasect at this point. We still have the Gator in the back end. This battle went from being like totally in our favor and then he got up a trick room and it's just like, okay, we got a battle now. Because <laughs> we started off the, this match really, really strong. Really, really strong. Let's see what the play is here. Sorrel comes out, dropping this Cresselia special thing. Just, just Arcanine's a beast. If you leave an Arcanine on the field like this for too long, you were just in trouble. You were just in trouble. Psyche's gonna pop here and he's gonna go in here. That's fine. It's fine. I can't believe he didn't go into my, uh, my Rotom. I'll keep my Rotom out here as long as I want. <laughs> as long as I want, man. Rotom's really thriving. Okay. So what's the play here? Play just Snarl again, I think. Snarl and go into T-Bolt? Yeah. Might as well. I think, again, I think he takes out my Rotom and then we bring out Feraligator to clean this one up. Let's see. Parasite goes into Bullseed. He's got to be choice. No, he can't be because he's using Protect. He might have Bullet Seed is like his only attacking move. I can definitely see happening. I definitely see happening. Snarl's gonna be able to fly, and I think we should be able to pick up KO, a KO with this. It would be lovely, right? Yep, Parasect out. Get him out of my face. And we're gonna bring Feraligator out here to finish up this battle. But yo, GG's. What a solid battle. What a solid battle all around. Really looked good in our favor from the beginning because we set up that Tailwind early on. Got a big damage off on. Who do you bring? Feraligator, was it? I think I think it was Feraligator that we just Brave Bird into and did some big damage. But it worked out perfectly. It worked out perfectly. We ended up getting rid of the Raichu and then just slow playing this final part when he had Trick Room out. And now we can finally bring it in our Feraligator. But it was actually great to actually swap into that Rotom. Rotom really clutched it up for us with that swap because, you know, Bolt Seed wouldn't have been in our favor. Just going to protect you and then go into a nice lovely waterfall and have my boy Feraligator finish this one. Arcanine's paralyzed. Of course he's paralyzed. Of course he's paralyzed. I think he's going to go for a skill swap. Ooh. Oh, little skill swap. Gets my sheer force. Get my sheer force. Okay, I see you. But it's all good. You're dead. Get on out of my face. We don't want you here. Oh, we don't pick up the KO. That's whack. That's whack. That is whack. But Snarl won't be able to take out. We're just going to double down into it and finish up this battle. Dude, I, I can't believe how many times uh, what's called has been paralyzed. Actually, uh, do we protect now? We're just going to go for Snarl. And then one full. But I can't believe how much Arcanine's been paralyzed. There's the battle was canceled. GG, first battle, great one, long and drawn out, and we ended up grabbing ourselves that win. 
Hopping into our second battle for today's video, going up against a Bronzong Trick Room team. We're coming off a strong first battle, but in these next battles, I really want to try out Shell for Alligator a little bit more. But since this guy is rocking out with Bronzong and a Trick Room squad, I definitely want to go into Crowback considering we do have Taunt. So I just think that is a great call all around. Definitely got to bring Fralgator here in here, but I don't know if I should lead it or not. I do not know if I should lead the Fralgator or not. I could lead the Arcanine because Arcanine could actually start controlling, but I feel like just having a big attacker in the front could be good for us. So I am going to go for Alligator. I am going to bring Arcanine in the back. And then final Pokemon. Do I want Rotom or do I want Scissor? I'm thinking Scissor could really, really benefit for us. So I'm going to go Scissor here and lock it down. Because we do have a coverage move of Dark, which is really, really good. But hopefully this guy is bringing four Pokemon and we can have another great battle for this video. Because like I said, first battle we did well. We played decent all around. But the sheer fact is that uh, we ended up not really showcasing for alligator to his fullest potential and that's what i'm here for this team i really want to show off for alligator this game. So we're gonna go in with these two i am just going to taunt this bronze song and i think in this case we just set up a sword dance i'm gonna try to set up a sword dance right off the rip get after it that way and then set up a tailwind after we taunt this thing because that could be really really bad if this thing is gets off the trick room could just be bad for us zangus is going to detect that's a good turn. That's a great turn. I think he's protecting and he's going for the trick room. So we're going to be able to taunt up onto this thing. Say, hey, yo, come here. Hopefully this thing's not mental hurt. We sure hope this thing's not mental hurt, right? It is not. That's huge. Sword Dance is setting up. It is setting up. And show me he's going for a trick room. Show that to me. Show it to me all day, baby, right? Yes, yo, he's going for that trick room. We have Sword Dance set up. We could go for Tailwind, but he is pretty slow. So I just feel like we kind of just like get after this Pokemon. We go for a Brave Bird. I think Brave Bird going into you could be the play. And then just Waterfall over onto Bronze. We could double down into the Zangu slot. In this case, this Brave Bird don't take out. Ah, uh, no. We're going to go after Bronzong. We're just, just going to go after Bronzong here. Brave Bird's going to fly. This could be big damage. This could potentially be enough to KO. Let's see. Nope, does not. That's fine. We're going to take some recoil damage. And how much damage are we going to do with this Waterfall? I know this thing is a, a bit of a defensive tank, but still, we're Sword Dance. Look at that, yo. For Ralligator. The power of Swords Dance, Life Orb, and Sheer Force all combined is just doing worse. Doing work. He's going to end up cursing, which is totally fine by me that drops its speed so that thing is gonna die he might detect next turn that's totally fine that's totally fine yo we're thriving here. we are thriving here i could set up a tailwind if i want to but i think we're fine i think we are fine here look at for alligator stand yo he's just ready to rip yo this thing's a beast making that amazing turn one play thank god i brought this for alligator. i was just like yo let's set up a sword chance let's taunt this thing and if dude like in my head i was like if this thing is going for trick room and our play sets up it is over with that's pretty much ggs that's pretty much going to wrap this one up. I am going to cross poison into the Zangoose. That'll finish him up. And we do have Ice Punch on this thing. Ice Punch will easily take out this Dragon Knight. Easily take out this Dragon Knight. Like I said, plus two from Sword Dance, Life Orb, and then you got Sheer Force damage. It's just wonderful. It is just wonderful. Cross poison. Get on out my face, Zangoose. Get on out my face. This battle is completely over with. Ice Punch flies through. And hey, this thing might survive the shot. It actually might not, actually. Let's see. Nope, get him out of here, yo. Even with the berry for Ralgator is just doing work. So that half the damage of that shot, and we still took it out one shot. We still took it out one shot. That's G to the G's, baby. That's G to the G's. Gotta love it. Gotta love getting a great recording like that for a Pokemon that we really want to showcase. That is exactly why I made this team. That's exactly why I made this team. For, for Alligator set up and chances like that, and just get after it. Since there's gonna be his final Pokemon. Oh no, he brought six? He brought six? This dude brought six. Yo, get this dude out of my face. Do we set up a Tailwind now? We could potentially set up a Tailwind now. Which could be play. Tailwind and then just, uh... I think taking out Scissor. I think Scissor poses the bigger threat. I'm gonna take out the Scissor here and set up the Tailwind. Perkley's gonna fake out. Oh, you son of a biscuit. Leave my Feral Gator alone. Leave my Feral Gator alone. Leave my Feral Gator alone. Technically, we won this battle, but it's all good. Let's see what he goes into. He's gonna go into a Sword Dance. Oh, uh, we have speed. I take out that Scissor, I think, in one shot. So, I'm cool with what, what we're working with. I, I, I'm cool with what we're working with. We just go into a Brave Bird here in the Pergly. And then, again, Waterfall should 100%. Take out Scissor, no problem. Oh, unless he bullet punches me, takes me out. That could be a detriment here. But, yo, come on. We definitely won this battle. Bullet Punch is going to fly through here. Can you eat this up? Eat it up, please. Yeah, we all day. It's not very effective. Gotta love it. That's, that, that's, it's over. It's over with. Crobat hits hard, too. Look at that Crobat coming in hot. Oh, Crobat! Crobat, chill on him! That's why I built this thing with EVs on attack. It can hit like a truck. It can soak up some shots. It outspeeds a lot. It's able to get off Tailwind on a lot. But Waterfall is going to fly through here. Later, Scissor. Oh, Scissor ate. Wow. Wow, Scissor ate that shot. But it's good to know that we do eat up another uh, Bullet Punch. 
So we either outspeed them or we're going to be able to soak up. It's over with, yo. We are just thriving with this squad here. 4v6 in here. 4v6 and we are just going to go into another uh, Brave Bird. Just trying to do damage here. And we are just going to go into a waterfall. Waterfall, baby. Do, 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 do. Ba, ba, da, ba. So he's just going to go for a bull punch. Hey, yo, for alligator. Let him know. Oh, no. Did you get a crit? We might lose this one. I'm not even going to lie. We might lose this one. We might lose this one. We should be able to eat up that, right? Yeah, okay. We eat up that. That's wonderful. Our figgy berry's popping. Yo, that's awful, yo. What you mean? He gets a crit there. I wanted my Fralgator to just sweep all six. I wanted him to just go off there. Come on, yo. Dude gets a crit. Brave Bird flies through. Doing a nice little chunk. We are going to take a little bit of recoil. And in this case, uh, who do we bring out here? We do have Scissor for our bullet punch. We should be able to take him out. Well, I could go Arcanine. What's her play? I think he might be choice into a bullet punch. I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. But Arcanine's going to fly through here. Timonade's going to pop, which is even bigger. Which makes him only plus one. Right? He Swords Dance, right? Yeah, he, yeah, he Swords Dance after to fake out. He Swords Dance after to fake out. And we're just going to go into a Brave Bird, into a Flamethrower. Into a Flamethrower. Scissors needs to go. I do not, not want Scissors sweeping my Pokemon. Just don't want that happen. We have speed. So again, if he doesn't go for Bullet Punch, he's dead. He has to go into Bullet Punch. And he's not killing my Arcanine with a Bullet Punch. So it's over with. It is over with. Got to show off the power of Fralgator here in battle number two, which is absolutely amazing. I do wish he brought four. I do wish he did bring four because it could have just been like a clean sweep, but uh, he ended up bringing six. So we're just going to give him the 4v6 with the Fralgator squad. But that's cool right there. Flamethrower is going to be able to pop. We say bye bye to Scissor. And now we can bring out our final Pokemon who is, was it Rotom? I'm trying to remember who we brought. It might have been Rotom. I think it's Rotom, right? <laughs> Let's see. He goes for a paint split. That's fine. That's fine. But this one, this one's over with. This one's over with. We know that's over with. Tailwind's over. He's very slow. Oh, no. We brought Scissor, which is lovely. We have Night Slash on this thing for our lovely little coverage move. Lovely little coverage move. This is why I gave it to him for Pokemon like this. That was, I was kind of like, I was kind of like wondering what should my final move be? Because this thing can't learn dual wing beat in this format. So I was just like, we're not going to dual wing beat. Let's give this dark move. And dark moves. Look, working pretty well for him. We always ban into that. I think I could KO. Yep. Brings up the big KO. This is exactly why I bring Scissor with a choice ban. He's able to come into the back end, pick up some big KOs, and end up getting us that victory. We're hopping into our third and final battle. Decide to give this guy a little rematch. Give him another redemption chance. But hopefully, he is rocking out with four Pokemon. Because we just 4v6 him. If he brings six Pokemon, he's whack. He's a chump. But we're going to go into Crobat here. Crobat just works really, really well. And I think Arcanine could be good. I think Arcanine could be solid here, but I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. He could lead that Breloom. Is this a different team? I don't think he had Breloom in his last one, did he? I don't think he did. I don't think he did. So this might be a different team. But if I go into Arcanine, doesn't Purgly learn Defiant? It might. It might. So I'm kind of scared of that. I am kind of scared of that. But Crobat is our absolute must. We could taunt up on Pokemon. Like I said, if he wants to go into the Trick Room Squad. But in this case, I might just go for Alligator here. I definitely want to bring for Alligator, but what's my play? Could lead Rotom. Rotom's not a bad lead. Rotom's not a bad lead. I mean, he doesn't really do much, but I just feel like he can kind of counter up on that uh that little Dragonite who I'm kind of scared of. I could go Scissor. Scissor's not bad as lead. Let's go Scissor. We're just going to Choice Band up first. We're going to Choice Band up here first. And then Arcanine in our final, or do we want to go Rotom? I kind of want to go Rotom because, like, it's Rotom. Even though he's not, like, the best choice here, Arcanine would probably be a little bit better. I just feel like going Rotom. Just to show you guys... uh. Every single Pokemon. We show off Arcanine all the time. But, uh, let's go Raichu. We do have a lot of tackles. Let's go Raichu here. Let's go Raichu just for the back end. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. Yeah, we can we can fake out. We can paralyze. We can do a lot of stuff. We can do a lot of stuff. So, I'm liking that. If, if, if there was money on the line, obviously I'd go Arcanine. But we're trying to have fun here. We can't, we're coming off two strong wins. He goes Breloom alongside Purgly here. And Purgly has fake out. And I think it does have Defiant. So, we're going to go Crobat alongside with Skizzy here. And I could just go into a straight break. He brought six, yo. What are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Why are you bringing all these Pokemon? Could go into Cross Poison. Could go into Brave Bird. Brave Bird's definitely our best bet. It's four times super effective. So, we're going to rock out with that. Turn one. And I could just go into a Bullet Punch. But he is probably just going to uh, fake me out. But I'm just going to try to U-turn and pivot out here. Green Limb goes for Protect. Let's run out with a little play. And who's he going to fake out here? He's just going to go straight for a body slam, which we should be able to eat up. So we do eat up that. And he gets a paralyzed. Yo, come on, man. 
Come on, you turn's gonna be able to pop. Uh, who do we go into from here? Well, that KOs. Oh, Choice Band Scissor. Chill on him. Chill on him, Choice Bandy. Choice Band Scissor, chill on him. And that thing could be Toxic Orbs. We do gotta watch out for that. Ralgator could be our go-to. But I'm thinking just going into Raichu, potentially faking out a Pokemon and setting up a Tailwind, just so we can have speed for a squad. So we can have speed for a squad. Rainbow gets blocked. Dang, dude, a Tailwind set up there would have been lovely. Would have been lovely. But he does read the Brave Bird. Just read the the Brave Bird. But he has six, yo. If we can 4v6 him again without a Sword Dance for Alligator set up, that'd be some good outplay. But I don't think we're going to be able to beat him here. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But yo, look at Freeloom's little hands, yo. They look like little claws. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. That thing is in our focus, so I do have to watch out for that. I could taunt it. I could nuzzle it and taunt it. Because that thing could set up a Dragon Dance. We don't like. Couldn't figure out the Breloom. That's what I'm gonna do. I feel like this thing's gonna set up like a Dragon Dance, right? I'm gonna taunt this thing. I mean, he does outspeed us. Let's just go for Tailwind here. We don't need some speed factor here. I know I just figured out the Breloom. I mean, what's Breloom gonna do? Go for like a fighting move? I'm gonna taunt it and nuzzle up this Dragon Dance. This Dragon Knight really poses a threat onto us. I'm gonna nuzzle him up. Give me that Paralyze. Give me that Paralyze. Is this thing rocking Lum? No Lumberry. Spore's gonna come out here. Oh, what's Breedlum gonna do? Obviously, he's gonna Spore, Jeans. What are you doing? Put me to sleep, yo. Gotta hate this Pokemon. Is this thing gonna Dragon Dance? It could dance. It could D-Dance up. Let's see, let's see how this one plays out. He's gonna D-Dance. So, this thing is gonna end up D-Dancing. We have Tailwind set up. Uh, I think he might protect the Loom, right? Are we gonna see a Protect from the Loom come out here? Do I hit up onto that Pokemon? He might protect the loom. I'm gonna volt switch out. I'm gonna volt switch out. Protects the loom, yo. I, I even said it. I even said it, but I just want to go for the simple play. I just want to go for the simple play. Dragon Dance might take out my uh my crowbat here, or he could set up another Dragon Dance. I can go for a fly. Okay, I'm cool with that turn. I'm cool with that turn because we have a lot of speed here. We have a lot of speed factor here. So again, we just go into a Brave Bird here. I'm hoping we outspeed, and then we could just nuzzle up on the Breedloom. Probably your best bet. I'm gonna withdraw the Breloom. That's totally fine. We're gonna be able to get off a Brave Bird and a Nuzzle. Bronze Ox gonna come out here. So that's a, that's a smart little swap. He has six though, which is tough. And of course, we are still slump. Yo, I never get the early sleeps. Never get the early sleeps. Brave Bird's gonna fly here. Who's he gonna, uh, what's his call here? Is he gonna go after Raichu? I kind of hope he goes after Raichu. Maybe he's paralyzed and he can't move. Nope. Only my luck would happen with that. He takes out my Crobat, and I would have loved to have my Crobat there. Because Tailwind is just such a big factor. Well, not Tailwind. Uh, Taunt would have been such a huge factor. But this dude looks like he's pretty much going to lock up this battle. Unless I can go in the Frowligator and use our Tailwind to our advantage. And hit this thing with an Ice Punch. Which is probably a play. Go into an Ice Punch and maybe just nuzzle up onto this uh, this Bronzong. Or I could Sword Dance and read the Protect. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm gonna read the protect on him, right? No way he saves him for this ice punch. There's no way he saves him for this ice punch. We're gonna try to get this set up. I, I feel like this is our last option because he has six, so it's like, dude, we have to set up and we have to do something dirty, right? We have to make a good call. So I think this is our chance to get back into it if he does go for that protect. Or maybe he'll just be paralyzed this turn because you know uh, it's it's about time for him to lose a turn for paralyzed. Actually wakes up here, that's huge. He does not protect, that's tough news though. Can paralyzed come and be our friend? Can, pa can Paralyze be our friend, please? Maybe once? Maybe once here? Maybe once can it be our friend? Please! Please! It's our friend, yo. Love you, Paralyze. Love you. Those Brazons going to Trick Room. All right, so we saw the Trick Room coming. We do have plenty of Paralyzes up onto these things. Uh, I could Protect here. I could go for a straight Protect. Into my Gator. Tailwind's gone, which is really good, because you know Trick Room's here. And now do I just protect and try to get off some damage onto this uh onto this knight? Maybe Volt Switch and pop out. And save our fake out for another turn. I'm gonna withdraw the bronze. The bronze on is going to get a withdrawal there. And Breedloom is going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We hate this game. We hate this game a lot. We really do don't like this game a little bit. And actually, this could be good. 
This could be good, because if we get Scissor in, I feel like Scissor uh, is slower than Breloom. Drag Dragonite's paralyzed again. Dude, that, that we should just Ice Punch. We should just Ice Punch. That was our turn there. That was our chance. But this turn, we will do it. This turn, we will do it in. I'm going to bring out the Scizor. Yo, we are going for this. We are looking for this crazy 4v6 victory. The first one was just it was just light work once we got the Swords Dance set up. This one is like, yo, we're making some plays. I'm going to go into here, and I think we just go into an X-Scissor here. We need to do as much damage as we can to this Breedlim. We need to do as much damage as we can to this Breedlim. So we got to go for our stab move. We got to get ripping with that. This thing's going to outrage. Oh, no. Eat this up. Nope, that's GG's. That is GG's, dude. If we would have Ice Punch last round, that could have been huge. That could have been huge. We're going to go for an X-Scissor. Would X-Scissor been able to take this thing out? It does, yo. It does. It does. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Dude, just think. If that Dragonite, if we went for the Ice Punch on that thing, bruh, that thing's gone. Reloom's gone. He has to bring back out Bronzong. I probably would have just swapped at that point. Swap my scissor at least and just start rolling out from there. Raichu's going to come back out here and we're going to see if we can get this. We're going to see if we can get this. Granny, if this was a 4v4, I think we'd, we'd win this battle easily. Dustin Water's going to come out here. Kind of want to swap at this point, but I can't. I can't swap it. So maybe a Nuzzle's our play. We can't fake out either of these guys. One's Ghost and one's Inner Focus. He reveals my choice band. So we are just going to Nuzzle up on this thing. And. X Scissor is just not the play, bro. We can't change it. We can't change it. That's G's. I should have went after Dragonite at that point. That's just going to be G's. That's why I was going to go for a Shadow Punch, which my Pokemon should be able to soak up all day. This thing's still paralyzed. And I probably should be targeting that thing down. Oh, it's confused now. Confused and paralyzed. So hopefully it'll start hurting itself, doing himself dirty. X Scissor comes out. Still doing a good amount of damage. We like that damage. And Nuzzle's going to come out. We'll play this one slow, yo. If we win this one, that'd be crazy. That'd be crazy. But yo, if you like I've been saying, if you guys are hopping into double battles, you guys are hopping into double battles, make sure you guys are rocking 4v4. Just a way. It's just what you gotta do. Dustin Waters paralyzed. That's huge. Can you be paralyzed or hurt yourself? Hurt yourself here. That'd be awesome. Yes, yo. Yes. We might be able to take this thing out here. And Trick Room should be ending very, very soon. Next like scissor comes out. Volt Switch gonna be able to take it out, yo. The power play by Jeans. The power plays by Jeans. Dragonite, get on out of here, yo. If this guy had four, we grabbed ourselves an easy perfect record. Easy perfect record. Trick Room's gone. Trick Room's gone. But yo, dude, just imagine if we could choice in the Night Slash here. If we could choice in the Night Slash, we're gonna be thriving. We have a whole bunch of his Pokemon paralyzed. We're gonna double down into you. And we're gonna, ah, uh, I, might, I might double down into Bronze on here. Bronze Eyes really is our threat. You know, let's double down into Bronze Eye. Not liking you, Bronze Eye. You know, X-Scissor's at least normally effective to this thing, so we can get off some big damage. Volt Switch gonna pop, and I think he's gonna be trying to pop another Trick Room. Can X-Scissor get, like, a crit here? Look at this. Oh my god, yo, Scissor. Scissor, chill on him. Chill on him, Scissor. Scissor, chill on him. He's doing him dirty. Pain Split coming through. That's fine. You can have a little bit of HP. Dustin Water, I'm not worried about you. We're just going to start, like, dialing down into this right side and keep hammering it away. He's going to throw out Scissor here. What's the play? Nuzzle the Scissor? Oh, yeah. Nuzzle the Scissor all day. Scissor's got to go. Scissor has got to go. He's got to go. Dude, this is coming close, dude. This is going to be a good one. I did not think we were going to be able to bring it bring it out after our Frowlinger went down. But this Scissor is just ripping. And the nuzzles are coming in hot. x are flying through. Give me some big old damage. Mmm. Mmm. What's he going for? He's going to go. Oh, no. Oh, no. We need paralyzes. We need paralyzes. Got to get after that skizzy. Shadow Punch flying through here. We eat that up all day. All day, Raichu. Tasty snack. Double down into him. Should I go Brick Breaker Volt Switch? Volt Switch definitely reply. Stab. Give me some more damage. And then, again, we got to double down into him. Give me some crits. Hopefully these guys are paralyzed. Oh no. Yo, dude, this is too close. This is too close. Like I said, once we lost for Alligator, I was sitting there. I was like, yo, I, this one's definitely over with. But we are somehow pulling back in. The Scizor is paralyzed, bro. <laughs> what about Dust Noir? Hopefully Dust Noir is paralyzed. And yo, another Volt Switch will take that out. Another Volt Switch will take that out. That's lovely. That's lovely. What's Dust Noir? Oh! 
Oh my lord! No way! This team's OP! This team's OP! Let's go! Let's go! Match ain't over yet! He's gonna protect. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. We can't have a Raichu go down, though. Can this thing be paralyzed again? I'd love for it to be paralyzed. Big old X scissor. Be paralyzed. No, it has a berry. It has a berry. What's he going for? Raichu, I need you to eat up because you have speed. My heart. My heart. It's broken. <laughs> it's broken. We do outspeed the scissor, so I'm going to take out the scissor. It's going to turn into a 1v1. It's going to turn into a 1v1. Scissor, can he do these guys dirty? Like, why does dude have to bring six? He's paralyzed. He was going to go for like a bullet punch or something. But we're going to say, hey, yo, get on out my game. All right. Get him gone. Get him gone, yo. How many X scissors do we have left? That's the real question. I haven't been looking. So if we run out of them, that could be very, very sad. You can go for shadow punch. That's easy eats, baby. This is super close. Oh, we have plenty of X scissors left. Yo, we use eight X scissors. That's nutty. That's nutty. X scissors are going to pop. Uh, and one more might be able to do him dirty. Let's see. He's paralyzed. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. He's probably going to go for a pain split, but it won't really give him that much HP. Scissor clutching. Scissor clutching. Yo, all we got to do is eat. All we got to do is eat. All we got to do is eat. Eat it. Oh, wait. He has shadow sneak. Be paralyzed. Be paralyzed. Sing learn shadow sneak. He's paralyzed. <laughs> Yo, GG's. I'm so sorry for this guy. I feel so bad. The paralyzers were doing him so dirty. But hey, we take those wins all day. Dominated today with this Frogator team. Showed off Frogator to his fullest potential. And got to show off Scissor like crazy in this third battle. Guys, Frogator and Scissor might be OP. Yo, we set up Sword Dance. Won a 4v6 with basically just a Fry Alligator. And then we just choice banned in the scissor, played Paralyzes with the Nuzzle with the Raichu, and did another 4v6 with Scissor. But um, guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. And I know what a lot of you guys are probably thinking is like, yo, jeans, how are you just like 4v6 in people and just dominating battles like this? There is no rank system here. So I'm going up against people who are not with my skill level. Hopefully that makes sense. Like, if, as you guys can tell, when I play Pokemon Sword and Shield, I'll lose a decent amount of battles, I'll win some, and I'll have really good battles all around. That's because the ranking system is pretty good, and they pair me up with players that are just as good as me. But when it comes to here, I'm just pairing up with people through a random link code. So there's really no skill, like, level matchup with us. There's It's just random. So I could be versus somebody who's way worse than me or somebody who's way better than me. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that explains why I've been 4v6 in some people and just dominating some battles. But like I said, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity day, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.